Hello friends, welcome to C Sharp Intermediate to Advanced Example. Now you are watching part 2 of the video. In this video, we are going to see the example that we are going to develop in uh, next uh, 4 parts. So here what you are seeing is a split container in the top. So this one is the split container and here you are seeing panel 1 with some controls. Here you are seeing panel 2 and this one is the splitter. And as you see, the split container is occupying the entire portion of this form and this one is actually a list control. So list control is occupying the entire portion of the panel 2. So panel 1, there are 1, 2, 3, 4 controls. In panel 2, there is only one control that is a list box and that occupies all the portion of panel 2. So once you add an item and click add item that will get added to this list box. Then once you highlight a particular item and then select remove that item will get removed. So this task is not related to any uh, split container but this will give an idea of how people will use a split container. Alright then this is splitter width this is an up down control and this up down control will help in increasing this uh, splitter width at run time then here we set a minimum size for the panel 1 so this is panel 1 and this is panel 2 using this we will set a minimum size that means user cannot shrink it beyond this uh, minimum size limit that we set using this uh, up down control so this is second up down control then using this checkbox, you can uh, minimize this entire panel 1 of the split container at any time. That means the split container will show only panel 2. So here this checkbox uses to collapse only this panel, but you can collapse any panel. The procedure will be same and we will learn that soon. Then here if you see we are uh, splitting the panel at runtime either vertical or horizontal. Now let's look at the form design. We will go to Visual Studio and learn some of the properties. Here if you see we created a uh, Windows form application then in that we placed all the controls. Let's explore one by one. First I am clicking here. and you can see it is a list and this list is placed inside the panel 2 of the split container so to select the split container i just click the form title then i am clicking this divider and it shows a split container so on one side of the form we have a list box and I mean on one side of the split container that means on panel 2 we have a list box and that list box is docked to the panel 2. Then here we have a panel 1 of a split container and there we placed 4 controls a label, text box and 2 buttons. And once again, I am selecting the split container and if you see the split container is kept horizontal. So you can see horizontal splitter that means at present it is vertical. So orientation you can see vertical. If you want to change it to horizontal, you can change it, but here we kept it as vertical. 
all right so here are the control names txt name button add btn remove list so list one we renamed it as list and it is docked to the panel 2 with the fill method so that means you have to drop the list control then access this property and choose fill so this one is the numeric up down control and if you see here uh, this one itself is a panel so how we designed this is first we placed the panel and then we resized it to fill the area in the bottom and if you see we set dark property to bottom so first year list box i mean the form in the form we drag and drop the uh, panel control then for the panel control we set dog properties uh, as bottom after that we resized this uh, panel like this so it will stay in the bottom then we decided the uh, size after that we placed the split container and we asked to have fill that means this will get filled in the form that means the remaining portion will get filled for example we will add a new form new item so this is just to explain how the form was designed the same first we will place a panel then we go here and choose its dog property as bottom that's all so here we have a bottom panel then we place all the controls like a splitter and these controls and we even change the back color all right so then if say for example if i change the back color you can see it so here we placed all the control after that in the top portion this is the remaining portion in the form right and if you want to resize you can resize it so split container you can place it here and by default it will the dog property is filled so the remaining portion it will fill after that you can place all the controls here then list box here say for example uh, let me place some controls here so likewise you can add control you can see the same way the name and the two buttons are added and a label also added then here list right so what we have to do we have to go to list box and drag and drop here move it here so that it will be here inside the container then for the list box this is the list box right i'm going to dock property then choosing fill so if i choose fill the owner of this list box is panel 2 of the split container 1 so now if i dock it it will dock it inside the entire second panel so this is how we designed that form now i am closing it and i don't want to save so once again this is the control name txt name we need a button add btn remove list these are all a label this is a numeric up down control numeric up down control this is one more numeric up down control and you can look at the name if you choose the same name it will be useful when we are going to the coding part and this one is a checkbox so the default name checkbox one then we have two ready button rd split vertical and rd split horizontal remaining property you can set as you like and for the numeric up down if you see we set a maximum of 10 that means during the design itself we decided so later when user clicks this up down control we will resize this splitter right since we are setting the limit here 
for this splitter uh, maximum is 10 that means they cannot uh, increase the splitter width to beyond 10 so they can resize the splitter uh, size from 1 to 10 beyond that they cannot do using the splitter similarly minimum here is 100 maximum is 200 so that's the size they can adjust uh, for this panel panel one minimum size so here we are setting the minimum size and if we will see that later but for now the range we are setting here in the up down control is 100 to 200 remaining stuff is uh, not important and uh, yeah the value is by default it is 100 here the value by default is 1 so that's all about the uh, form design and uh, you can go back to this uh, video and uh, look at all the control name let me quickly show all the control names all right now let us look at the uh, one more useful view that tells how the uh, controls are organized so um, go to tools menu customize in the customize you can click on the view it will be in the bottom and go for document outline so what you can do click on this view menu and here also view is there right document outline you can drag and drop wherever you want so if you see here document outline is there but if you see i already have document outline here in other windows so I am removing it and keeping it here itself in the customize dialog so I removed it from menu so you can check in our case if a document outline is there in this location view other windows document right line you can leave it if it is not there you can pick from here and wherever you want you can add all right now I'm clicking close here save all the document outline will be very useful now i will show other windows document outline and if you see this will show the hierarchy of how the parent child relations are maintained by the form if you see here frm splitter this is our form and our form contains two panel this is panel one and you can see it also selects that control here and if i switch to property you can see panel one right now i will go to document outline so what panel one contains panel one contains a checkbox it gets selected now break up down control label this radio button and second radio button then one more label you break up down all right so this is panel one now let's go to split container and if you see we doesn't place these two panel so once you drag and drop split container the split container contains two sub component panel 1 and panel 2 if i expand panel 1 you can see these are all the control placed by us and for panel 2 we have one list box and we know that that list box is docked docked to its parent its parent is panel 2 panel 2 is a sub container of a split container that means it is docked inside panel 2 this portion right you see how useful this uh, document outline it will also it will be useful to select the particular uh, container if you see we always have trouble selecting this uh, container right we have to click here then we should select so instead you can directly click here 
I mean, click here, split container. It will select the split container, go to property and set whatever property you want. So that's all about this uh, document outline. It will be useful. And in your project also, if you have complex architecture of this uh, GUI design, you can bring up this uh, document outline and you can study how the controls are organized. But if you see, this will show the design time control only. So if something is added at runtime, that you have to deal with uh, by exploring the code. That's all here in this video. Thank you for watching. Bye.